Well, hi, folks. So, is it weird if I try to do this whole video with this thing on my face? Yeah? Good, because it's hot as hell. It is 2020, and we're used to wearing masks by this point, but this is a bit much. And I think, I don't know if you can see this guy. He's got this, like, mesh stuff in his eyes. I'm not entirely sure why they did that. Probably to mask eye color, I guess, but I think it's kind of silly. So I may, uh poke that stuff out because I think it's a little a little bit crazy but uh, I love him and I uh, just wanted to give you another view of him I've always wanted one of these vintage masks um, I can't remember the name of the original artist but every time I go to like a vintage horror or Halloween collection they always have these masks but they're pretty pricey I've seen them as high as 60 70 80 bucks and I I'm not about that life. I love me some collectibles, but I'm not gonna go broke in the process. So I will pick up the $12 uh, recreation from Spirit Halloween all day and every day. The last time I was at Spirit yesterday, this is the only one they had. And I do know that they have a Dracula, they have a, I think a devil, a mummy. I really wanna find the mummy. So that's my next my next look for. Um, I think I have like four more Spirit Halloweens opening up in my area. Per Spirit's website, it says that one is supposed to be opening in Holland, Ohio on September 4th, and then there's two additional, one on Monroe Street and one over on Alexis, which is the closest to me. Hallelujah. But it just says coming soon, so I'm not entirely sure when they're going to get their stuff together to open that one up. So. I'm uh, just going to keep traveling around to my spirits and see what happens and keep an eye on the website because that's always the best bet. But um, yeah, I, I really, really love him. He makes my heart happy. Frankenstein is my favorite of the classic monsters. Um, you will probably find out on this, this channel that the classic monsters are one of my top tier favorite things starting with Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein. Uh, I got married last year, um, October 26th, so my anniversary is coming up in a couple months. It's actually two months from today, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. But yeah, the Bride and Frankenstein were kind of my, my muse, you know, as I was putting stuff together for the wedding. And I bought a couple kitschy things. Um, I am a big fan of Funko Pops. I know they're kind of silly, but I'm, so, I'm I'm obsessed with them at this point. I bought a couple as a joke to start with, and now my Funko Pop wall is absolutely out of control. So I am going to show this to you, and I want you to promise me that you're not going to laugh or think I'm a, a lunatic, uh, because I am. But I don't care. I can't. I can't stop. Um, I've also. <laughs> I'm going to be adding to my Funko collection because they had the Funko Ween this year. Um, I think they started putting that out in June or July, and so I snatched up quite a few of them, um, but they were all pre-orders, so I'm waiting for them to come in the mail. I ordered all of the <laughs> Despicable Me um, as classic monster characters. So I've got, you know, the creature and Frankenstein and Dracula um, in the mummy, I think is another one. But the Dracula one was a Walgreens exclusive. So I had to kind of finagle and try and find one um, of those. The Walgreens around me, I went to and I couldn't find one. So I just decided to pop over onto eBay and found somebody selling one for like 20 bucks. So I said, well, save me, you know, more time driving around and we'll see what happens. I hope that they pack it with care because I am one of those lunatics that likes to keep them in their boxes. Um, at some point that might change when I just completely run out of room to store them all in. Um, cause as it is right now, it's a bit overwhelming. There's so many of them, but I love them so much. And I think that anything that fills your heart with happiness, you should embrace it wholeheartedly um, and not let it go. So I will continue to order these Funkos and for the longevity. As long as they're making them, I will be buying them. Um, I really wanted to pick up the craft series because they had the, the ladies from the, the 1996 or 1997. I think, movie The Craft. Uh, so I wanted all of those, but I had already depleted my, 
my funds for Halloween Funkos. So I bought, like I said, the Despicable Me ones. They should be coming in the mail in the next uh, week or two, I think. And I also bought, they had Mickey and Minnie Mouse dressed up in Halloween garb. So I think that Minnie's a witch and Mickey was a Dracula. So those will be coming as well. Very excited about those. But let me show you really quickly um, my collection. Welcome, ladies and gents, to the Wall of Funko. So this is the general overview of my collection. I've got two shelves worth. I'm currently standing on a step stool because it is so tall I can't even get to it unless I'm on the step stool. So let's go back up to the top and I will show you a little bit more in detail of what we've got. Uh, I've got some Harry Potter items. I got a Niffler and I've got Hermione Granger's Otter Patronus, which is absolutely adorable. I have got an MTV Moon Person. I am a product of the 80s and absolutely worshipped at the feet of MTV when I was a kid. Um, I couldn't watch a single thing on MTV right now without gagging, but um, it was very definitive in my life and created my great love for music. So I will always be forever grateful to MTV for that. So I picked that up as an homage to my roots, I guess. And then I've got my Sanderson sisters. So I am an OG Hocus Pocus fan. I know it's created kind of a stir in the last, I'd say 10 years or so, but Hocus Pocus was the last movie my mother took my sis myself and my sister to before my brother was born. So we were there, I think, not opening night, but the next day, that, that Saturday, um, back in July of 1993. And my brother was born in August of 1993. So I will forever hold Hocus Pocus very dearly in my heart. Uh, it's the one movie I remember everything about. I remember where we were sitting in the theater. Um, I, I remember everything. I was so excited about that movie because I've always had a fascination with witches. So it um, sparked my forever love of the genre. So I'm very, very grateful to them. And I've got Chidi Adagonye up there from uh, the TV show The Good Place. My husband calls me Chidi every single day because I am very very uh, indecisive and it takes me a very long time to make a decision about anything so he thinks it's hilarious and I saw the pop and I had to buy him and then I've got the Ghostbusters 2010s gals I know that that was kind of a sore subject for a lot of Ghostbusters fans but I I genuinely enjoyed the movie I was able to kind of compartmentalize it as something different um, I liked what they did I liked the characters I would have been friends with all those girls and I love SNL. I love, you know, all the girls that came from SNL, Leslie Jones, um, Kate McKinnon. Oh my gosh. I love her to pieces. I'm still trying to find her Funko. But when I bought these three characters, um, Aaron and Abby and Gertrude, they were at like a collector's table and they were on clearance for like four bucks because clearly nobody else liked that movie either. So I picked them up for a steal and was like, well, what, what the heck? I'm going to keep them and love them, I guess. And I've got Troy Barnes from Community because I absolutely adore Donald Glover. And you can't have Troy Barnes without Abed Nadir. So I've got both of those guys from Community. Absolutely love that show. If you have not watched that, you definitely should watch that as well. I've got Dracula, who's not the original Universal Monster that they released. He's the 2019 release, but I didn't have an original Dracula and they're very expensive on eBay. So I figured I'll pick up what I can. This guy here, Frosty Franklin, is a postal carrier, and my husband, Rob, is a United States postal worker. He is a supervisor at one of our local branches, so I had to pick him up because it was very fitting with who my husband is. And then, of course, I've got, I am such a fan of the Haunted Mansion, and this is the Mansion Groundskeeper. So uh, he is one of two Haunted Mansion characters I have. I will be showing you the second one here shortly. I have got Quasimodo from Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Hunchback is and will always be my favorite Disney movie. Um, I saw that at a very defining age, you know, when I was a kid. The music still brings me to tears. It's my favorite soundtrack of any animated Disney film. The characters are amazing. The, the bad guy is terrifying. So I just, I love every little thing about Hunchback. So I'll defend it to the death. All you people that like, you know, Beauty and the Beast and 
Little Mermaid, well, you can have it, but I'm going to take Hunchback any day. And then I've got this great guy who's got Egon and Venkman and Slimer from the original Ghostbusters. So absolutely had to have him. Love, love, love it so much. I've got the exclusive that Spirit Halloween put out last year of the Hocus Pocus gals with their cauldron. I wasn't going to do it again because of the awful experience that I had the previous year with the the pre um the pre-order, but I had to have that. So I bit the bullet, and that one came late too, but not as late as the prior three, so no complaints. And I've got Jim Henson. Jim Henson reminds me of my, my cousin Cameron, who's one of my favorite people on the planet. Um, so every time I look at that, it makes me smile. I've got this massive guy right here, and I'm going to call him Baby Yoda, because that's what he was originally referred to as. That's who he looks like, and I clearly understand it is not Baby Yoda, but it's Baby Yoda. I don't care. I'm, I'm going to fight that to the death. And he is a bobblehead. <laughs> so cute. My husband pre-ordered him for me uh, months, months ago, and he just randomly showed up. We'd, we'd completely forgot about it. Um, he was going to get it for me for a Christmas present, and of course he didn't release until I think March of this year. So he showed up on our front porch in a huge box. I think he was like 16 by 14 or something was the size of the box. So of course I couldn't keep him in that box if I wanted to display him. So the box is being stored in the basement, and he is out and about for everybody to see. So I love him a lot. My other guy that's out of a box is my Scream Ghostface guy. Scream was the first movie I ever saw that was considered a horror movie. Um, I will still fight to the death that Mr. Boogity and Bride of Boogity are still horror movies because when I was two and a half, three years old watching those movies, they scared me to death. Um, but I will also be doing a video, maybe a series about Mr. Boogity because it deserves all the love in the world. So look forward to that. And then I've got Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo is also somebody that um, fed my love for spooky things as a child, and it's just grown exponentially as I get older. And so when they released this set, I think it's the 50th anniversary of Scooby. So I absolutely had to pick it up because I love the little mansion that he's got next to him. And Scooby's so cute. I couldn't help myself. And then I've got Ginny, Fred, and George Weasley from Harry Potter. And this is their garb when they are going to cheer on the Irish team at the Quidditch World Cup. I absolutely love Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. It's not my favorite book. My favorite book is Prisoner of Azkaban. But I loved this scene in the movie very much. I love their, their outfits and their dec the decor. So when I saw they were coming out with this, this set of three, I absolutely had to pick it up. And then speaking of Harry Potter, I've got Harry himself and Hedwig going into platform nine and three quarters. So these were some of the most expensive ones that I've bought um, with, you know, the big size and everything, but I think that they're worth it. I just wish they were a bit smaller because they do take up so much space in my collection. Um, and then other two that are out of their box are these, this beautiful couple right here, the bride of Frankenstein and uh, Frankenstein's monster himself. So I think she is just the most beautiful. I love her little bandages on her arms. Everything about her is just spectacular. She's She'll forever be one of my favorite characters ever created. And Frankenstein is just such a, a loving character. I mean, I don't know of anybody that can't watch those initial 1931, you know, Frankenstein, and then I think Bride came out in 35, maybe, or 34. If you watch those movies and you don't feel something for those characters, I don't, I don't know who you are. But I took them out of their boxes last year because I got married to my wonderful husband, Rob, and I had them kind of as centerpieces. I put them on my cake table. I brought them to my um, bridal shower and sat them on tables and stuff. So they've been out since last October and September, and I just haven't had the heart to put them back in their boxes. So I may never. I've got the boxes available. They're down on the second shelf, but I love them the way they are, and I keep them nice and clean, so... If I ever decide to put them in a box and stupidly decide to sell them, I guess they'd be okay. But I don't think I'm ever selling any of these. That's, that's where my heart's at. I love them so much. So on to shelf number two. I have got 
Eevee, who is a Pokemon, clearly. Um, I was not a huge Pokemon fan because I kind of was past that age, but my brother, who was born in 1993, was a huge Pokemon fan. He had all the games, and he watched the TV show and everything, and Eevee was always my favorite. Eevee and Mewtwo were my, my go-to gals, so I saw that they were coming out with an Eevee Pokemon Funko, and I had to pick her up. And then down here, I've got Conan O'Brien in some later hosen, because Conan O'Brien is my favorite, favorite nighttime television host, and I will fight anybody to the death that wants to badmouth Conan. I've got my beautiful girl Lucy right there. Lucy and Winifred Sanderson and Anne Shirley from the Anna Green Gables um, books and movies are my red hair spirit animals. They are the reason I have red hair today and will continue to forever have red hair. I'm not going to tell you what my original hair color is because I don't think a woman should ever have to dis d d you know divulge that information, but suffice it to say, I'm a redhead and I'll forever be a redhead. So underneath her is Herschel from The Walking Dead. I was such a huge Walking Dead fan when it first started, but it just it took a, a wrong turn with Negan for me and I stopped watching. I was also really devastated when they killed off Herschel's character. He was my absolute favorite. Then we've got Stefan from SNL. If you've not seen his sketches, I don't know what rock you've been living under, but he's my favorite to ever come off of SNL and I love Bill Hader. Uh, and more than words can describe, so I absolutely had to have him for my collection. The Phantom Shadow, of course, another um, Scooby-Doo character. Had to have him for my collection as well. I bought this Mandalorian child, Baby Yoda, um, before I knew Rob had bought me the big one. So I've got two bobbleheads. i got a baby and I've got the big boy. Down here... <coughs> oh, sorry. Now this is Elliot and Pete from Pete's Dragon. So this is the original Pete's Dragon, of course, and it's set in a lighthouse. I think even on the side of the box, there is a lighthouse. See, check it out. Because the original movie was set in a lighthouse. Hence why it is one of my favorite, favorite movies of all time. The new series decided to take out that element completely and uh, broke my heart. So, <sighs> I, I can't watch the new the new version. I just won't. Um, and you can't really tell because of the box, but Elliot is clear, so I think he's really, really cool. And I've got Agnes from Despicable Me. She is my favorite character from that series. I just love her to pieces. I bought the Queen because she has a Corgi, and Corgis are one of my favorite dogs, so I had to buy it for that reason. She-Ra was my first Funko ever. My sister bought her for me, and I... Uh, I love her. She started my collection, and I'm forever going to be grateful for that. I've got Eleven from Stranger Things Season 3 in her cute little jumpsuit. Absolutely adore her. David Rose from Schitt's Creek. Oh, my God. He is my, my spirit animal. I love him to pieces. If I was a boy, I would be David Rose because I am kind of snarky, but I have a heart of gold. So David and I, 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 I see myself a lot in him. He makes me very happy. Finally, for Funkos, I've got another Conan O'Brien in his suit, because like I said, I absolutely love Conan. And then finally, for my little dolls, I've got all these little Mandalorian characters. I just thought they were so sweet. Oh, 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 and my last, actual, my last Funko is my other Haunted Mansion character. It's Madame Leota. So it took me so long to find her, and I'm so grateful that I did, because she is beyond, beyond, beyond fabulous. So... And she's also the one that glows in the dark, so I think that's pretty great. But yeah, so that is the Funko collection as it stands right now. Um, but like I said, it will be growing exponentially here shortly. But I wanted to give you an update on this and uh, give you a taste of the things that I collect and the things I love. So we will uh, talk to you later.